Here is a piece of tissue, which on first quick look, you might think was some kind of a lymphoid organ because you can see uh, secondary lymphoid follicles here and here and all over the place, here, 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 here. And because they have germinal centers, that's what makes them a secondary follicle. Well, what if I was to tell you that this particular uh, slide came from this? And you could see that, uh, like many lymphoid uh, organs, this has kind of a whitish appearance, maybe a little bit nodular. Perhaps that nodularity is appreciated even better when you cut through it like this. Well, this is not a lymphoid organ at all. This is a thyroid gland. But normally, in a thyroid gland where you see perhaps areas like here and here and here representing colloid, you see kind of a whitish lymphoid uh, appearance. And this is so classical for Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is the most uh, common cause for an adult uh, hypothyroid situation. Here's the slide again. And let's take a clearer look at it. Sure, there's a lot of lymphoid follicles here, 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 here. It almost looks like there's more lymphoid tissue here than there is thyroid. But if you look carefully, uh, you could really uh, can appreciate the fact that there are still remnants of intact but fairly small thyroid follicles. Here is the follicular epithelium and here is some colloid. And it's a little bit smaller than usual and it's very, very, very intimately mixed with these uh, germinal uh, centers as part of the secondary lymphoid follicles. So this field right here is a classical diagnostic field for Hashimoto's thyroiditis in which the body decides to make antibodies against its own thyroid tissue. Uh, anytime you see a thyroid gland microscopically in which there is an abundant or even a moderate amount of these uh, secondary follicles which contain germinal centers, you can diagnose correctly, confidently Hashimoto's thyroiditis.